Today we're going to be talking about the easiest ways to make money trading Forex in 2018 and we're getting started right now. What's going on guys? My name is Jeffrey Rodriguez and welcome to another video. If you want to learn how to trade Forex using technical analysis and price action and all kind of other Forex related stuff, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell icon so you don't miss anything. Real quick guys, let me know in the comments below, what type of trader are you? What style of trading do you prefer more? Are you a day trader, intraday trader, swing trader, scalper? Let me know in the comments below. Personally for me, I rather trade during the day, so a day trader or an intraday trader, but I don't really like holding positions longer term, being a swing trader or anything like that. Before going over the tips guys, I wanna go ahead and start this video by saying, Understanding Forex is something that's going to take time. It's not something that you're just going to understand overnight. It's just like anything else, guys. It's going to take time and you have to actually learn the industry and learn the concepts within it and also master your emotions. Like there's a ton of stuff that goes into it, guys. So don't just think, you know, if you want to get involved with trading, that it's something that you're going to have figured out by next week or tomorrow even. It's, it doesn't work like that. And trading is something that's really hard to learn on your own. So if you're out there right now and you're trying to like watch a ton of different videos and figure all this out on your own and put everything together, it's going to be complicated for you. Like you're, you're, you don't have experience from another trader actually, you know, helping you not make the same mistakes that they made. So it's really difficult and you're going to end up making those mistakes on your own because you're trying to learn by yourself. And that's completely fine if you want to learn on your own, but having someone that's going to actually help you in your trading, so whether that be a mentor or just a friend who knows more about trading, whatever the case is, guys, turn to that person for advice because they can actually help you and cut your learning curve in half so you're not going to take as long to actually learn this stuff because they're helping you avoid the same mistakes that they made. So with all that being said, guys, let's go ahead and go over some practical tips for you guys to find some profitable trades. So tip number one, you're only gonna wanna focus on trading during the session times. So that means Asia session, London session, and New York session. Now for me, I primarily only trade London and New York session. I don't really like trading Asia too much, but if you guys wanna trade Asia session, then focus on trading USD JPY or AUD USD. But if you're trading London, then focus on like Euro or GBP, something like that. You're gonna have a little bit more movement. But the benefits of actually trading during session times is you're gonna have a lot more volatility. So the market's gonna move a lot more versus trying to trade outside of those times where the market tends to just consolidate and you're likely to just sit through some drawdown or wait for the trade to actually go in your favor. And personally, I'd just rather be in a move that's gonna move a lot quicker versus me having to wait all day for the move to actually take place. Now, if you don't actually know what the session times are, so if you don't know when Asia session, London session, New York session is, you can just Google that stuff or you can check out this video I made on it so you can click the little card that's right here. And I go over all the times in detail when you wanna trade and when you don't wanna trade. So. Check out that if you don't actually know what times the Asia session, London session, and New York session are, and that'll help you actually get some clarity on what those times are and when you should be trading. Step number two, guys, you always wanna focus on a higher time frame for your directional analysis. So if you're a day trader like me, you wanna focus on the daily time frame for determining if the market's gonna go up or down. So what you wanna do is you wanna look at the market and you wanna figure out, are we gonna be trading higher tomorrow or are we gonna be trading lower tomorrow? Now, if the market's gonna be trading higher and you're expecting a bullish day, then you should only be looking for buy setups in the market and not any sell setups at all. Because if you're expecting a bullish day, the market shouldn't move down much at all. It should have a strong movement to the upside and you should only be focusing on buy setups, no sell setups at all. So that eliminates 50% of the confusion whether or not you should be buying or selling. And this is something that a lot of new traders actually struggle with I get the question all the time, people are saying, should I be buying or should I be selling? Well, the answer to that is you just need to look at a higher time frame, and then once you have your directional analysis, all you have to do is go to a lower time frame and look for setups that are either a buy setup for a bullish day or sell setups for a sell day. That's it, you don't have to complicate it any more than that. So for a sell day, you're gonna be looking for the market to trade up into resistance, and for a buy day, you're gonna be looking for the market to trade down into support. That's it guys, you just wanna focus on buying at those areas when the market is expected to either go higher or lower based on a daily time frame. if you're a day trader. Now if you're a swing trader, then you can focus on the weekly direction or the monthly direction and focus on getting on setups that are buy or sell setups based on that direction each day out of the week. So that's how you can use it if you're a swing trader or a long-term trader like that. So tip number three, 
This is probably one of the most important tips, guys, because this is something that's so easy just to forget about. And it's be patient and wait for the setup to come to you. So that means don't over trade, don't try to trade as much as you can outside of the session times. Try to trade as much as you can while the market is actually in session times. Don't focus on trading outside of session times. If you forget that, always go back to rule number one or go watch that video I talked about so you can make sure that you know what times you should and shouldn't be trading. So the key thing to take away from this is make sure you're being patient, waiting for the setup to come to you during those times. Also with the higher time frame direction being included in your analysis because you want all of that stuff to line up for your trade before you actually execute your trade. When you have multiple things that line up for a particular direction, you're more than likely to be right on that actual direction versus if you only have one or two things that line up for the opposite direction. So you always wanna have you know, at least three or more things that line up indicating that the market should either go higher or lower. And once you have at least a few things that line up, you can focus strictly on either buy or sell setups based off of what you think the next daily or weekly time frame is going to do uh, depending on what type of trader you actually are i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up and i will see you in the next one after this track i might need me some lozenges i ain't about to go soft this rapper shit lately been pissing me off guess these words are kind of just at the tip of my tongue but i'm still young and i hope i find the rhymes that'll live through time before that fat lady has sung because when i'm inside this blue feels like i rule the world but i'll hop off my horse hop in your porsche give it